Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Torres from Cisco Tax. In this video, we will share the steps to renew an identity certificate in your FNC Managed FTD. We will explore some of the options that you'll find and a couple of methods you can use. Certificate management page can be found in the Devices Certificate section. In this case, I am using an FMC running version 7.2. Let's start with a manually enrolled certificate, which means the CSR was originally created in this FMC. You can identify that certificate because it has the word manual in the enrollment type column. The first method to renew this type of certificate is by clicking in the re-enroll certificate icon. A warning will prompt saying that a new signing request is going to be created. This sign-in request will use the same parameters from the original certificate. By clicking Yes, we'll see the sign-in request base64 that we need to copy and share with our certificate authority. For now, let's click Cancel since most likely you will have to share that CSR with your CA and won't be able to put the certificate right away. In the meantime, you'll see a warning saying that the certificate re-enroll is in progress and the old certificate is still active. To install the new certificate once you get it, just click in the re-enroll certificate icon again. You'll get the same warning from before, just click yes. Once you get the certificate, just click here to upload it. Please give it a couple of seconds until you see the certificate renewed. Keep in mind that this will replace the active certificate right away. If any connect users are connected, they won't be affected, but this certificate will be presented on new connection attempts. Some users may want to install the new certificate in the FTD but just don't start using it yet. This can be done with the second method to renew a manually enrolled certificate, and this means just to add a new certificate from scratch by clicking in the Add icon. Choose the device and click in the plus sign to start a new certificate enrollment process. Give the trust point a valid name. Choose the manual enrollment type and paste the CA certificate base64 in the text box below. It is recommended to do so, but in case you are unable to get the CA certificate right now, you can leave this blank for now. Make sure you fill in the details for your certificate and click Add when you're ready. Now, let's go over the same steps from before to generate the CSR and install the certificate from your CA once it is provided. The certificate is now installed. Once you're ready to make the change, you can start using this certificate. In the next example, the original certificate was installed from a PFX or PKCS12 bundle. This format will include the ID certificate, the CA certificate, and the private key in a single bundle. This is usually used when the certificate signing request was not created in the FMC itself. When the certificate we need to renew has this format, we cannot use the re-enroll option in the FMC. The only way to renew is by installing a new certificate, either by manually creating the CSR as we saw before, or by installing a new PFX bundle provided by your CA. We do that by clicking in the Add icon. Choose the device and click in the plus sign to start a new certificate enrollment process. Give the trust point a valid name. Choose the PKCS12 file enrollment type, browse the PKCS12 file and write down the passphrase that should have been provided by your CA. As you will notice, you won't be able to fill in any of the certificate details. Click save and add to complete the installation process for your certificate after a couple of seconds. The certificate is now installed. Once you're ready to make the change, you can start using this certificate. If you still have issues with this, please feel free to reach out to tax support and we will gladly assist you with it. Thank you for choosing Cisco.